Hey y'all, it's me with the bandana, <laughs> bandana, with the bonnet on again. I am actually outside. I'm grilling today. I don't know if y'all can see the smoke. I'm trying to get the grill to start smoking up. I am grilling some chuck roast. My sister is actually the one that marinated. I think she did some like garlic, some uh, Worcestershire, some other stuff. And then we're just gonna sit on the grill and y'all just gonna watch me grill today. So like I said, it is smoking right now. Y'all, I'm not the best at like setup for the grill. I just make sure it is pretty clean and then that it has some good charcoal in it so like the charcoal's all scattered i'm not that's what i'm trying to say is the charcoal is scattered there you go this is an old grill so don't judge me oh shoot I'm about to burn this seat. don't judge me it's an old grill but you see how some of this is ashed up we want like all that pretty much ashed up having a good day this is my little trash can because i had to my sister, last time she grilled, she left a mess. I'm like, damn. Okay, y'all, this is my little bag of meat. I'm honestly, my hands are washed and everything. I'm just going to honestly put it on there with my hands because, like I said, I'm not <laughs> real savvy with the grilling utensils and shit. So, here we go. I'm cooking a chuck roast on the grill. I've never done a chuck roast before. I have grilled before, just not a chuck roast. I think I'm gonna let it sear for a good five, 10 minutes. Flip it, let it sear another five, 10 minutes. Then go wrap it in foil, let it smoke in the um, grill. Okay, y'all, I just flipped it. I should've got myself flipping it, but I did flip it. You see how it's like, char not charred, but I'm gonna flip it again. I should've kept it on that side. But um, I have a concoction of like Worcestershire, a little bit of water to keep the meat moist. But it also has a little bit of the garlic. I don't know uh, some of the meat juices in there. I don't know why I ended up putting the garlic in there too. But I'm just going to spray it just to keep the meat, you know, moist and delicious. Y'all. Why do we keep doing that? I got to do this little number sometimes. Because like I said, I put the fucking meat juices and it had garlic. It's fucking it up. A few moments later. Y'all, this meat smells so good. I gotta ask my sister what she marinated this with because it smells so good. Oh yeah, I like a little black. I'm gonna flip it one more time and then we're gonna put it in the foil and we're gonna smoke it in. Ooh, yes. Okay. We're gonna smoke it in direct heat. I wanted to do all direct, like all around. I'm glad it didn't heat up all the way around and only did one side because um, I'm going to wrap it in the foil and I'm going to put it on this side so it can actually smoke because if you put it in direct heat, I mean, I think you can. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not the barbecue expert, but I at least try. So I'm going to put it in indirect heat onto the, this side where it's not really super hot and I'm going to let it smoke slash grill for like three, four hours. Probably won't even take that. Probably like two, three hours. We'll see. I'm also going off of this recipe and then I'm also going off of like what looks good to me. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, I gotta work quick because I didn't sat down and wasn't paying attention. I already uh, used my little, I already used my little thermometer to test it. It was like at 130 something. So then I'm going to get my foil. I'm just gonna set this on here. It's gonna be okay. Get my foil in there. Like I said, this is indirect heat, so it'll be okay. Set it right there. Pick up my tray and <laughs> set it and forget it. <laughs> I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel like I am on a, like a um, what's some things that come on late at night? The little where they're trying to sell stuff. I feel like I'm on one of those. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You just set it and forget it. You just set it and you forget about it. You just set it and then forget it. Oh. So I left it out on the grill for about like two hours, uh, wrapped up in the foil. Is I have a pan right here. I'm gonna add my meat to the pan, and then I'm gonna shred it up. Then I add a little barbecue sauce, and then we gonna. Or no, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the pan without the foil. Oh yeah, y'all. Okay, that shit is. Well, there was a bone. It'd be falling off. Okay. Give it a little taste, okay? Mmm. Ooh. 
Mmm. hot. Fuck. <laughs> Let's just wait. <laughs> Y'all, this is looking good. I'm ready to shred it up. Um, I'm not gonna lie, some of the little pieces I burned a little extra. I don't know if that's. I've been seeing people barbecue maybe having extra burnt pieces and it, it's be okay to them, but I'm not down with that. I like it like good, but not too burnt. But I feel like this right here is a little too burnt for me. So I'm gonna just fix it up, chop it up, and then we're gonna show y'all the finishing product, okay? So y'all, I uh, came and chopped it up a little bit. Um, I made some bacon because I was just hungry at the time. I'm about to eat it right now. But the majority of the burnt pieces are like moved on, like the burnt, burnt pieces, like that I don't really fuck with, are moved over here. Some people like burnt pieces. I don't blame them, but I'm just not a fan. I already got enough burnt pieces in here, in my opinion. Um, but now I'm just like breaking it down because we're going to eat these as sandwiches. I'm going to stop by the store, get some bread and some pickles, and then we just going to chow down.